I do not support corruption. All I can say, if I were in your position, I would take on myself and hand over to someone else who is not compromised. Welcome back, everyone. Thank you very much for supporting our channel. In today's views, we will take a look at the JLP Central Conference in Brownstown, Senton, with Andrew Wolness, Kim Brown Lawrence, Krista Lee, and others. So, my people, please leave your views in the comment section below. And if you are new here, welcome. Like, share, and subscribe to the channel to help the channel grow. So, my people, let us get into it. We must make sure that we conduct ourselves always in a way that when the rest of the society look at us and look at our platform and look in our audience, they say that we are God loving people. We are peaceful people. We are peace and love. But it was so energetic. Yeah. Amen, church? Yeah. But let me be quick, quick about it. Let me be quick about it. First, you are a beautiful animal. You look good. You really look good. Commendations are really due to your hard working, dedicated member of Parliament. I have known Crystal for some time, and I have often knew that she is an excellent representative. All right, Mr. Wallness, you see, all I just say here, so I don't farm off recognition to Kim Brown Lawrence right here, so that sure is still upset about the little plea, what she plead the other day for help with her situation, what she going through. You see me? If it wasn't for Kim Brown Lawrence, Crystal Lee couldn't have the stand when she have a brown stone. Learn that. Kim Brown Lawrence is the foundation and the cornerstone for everything on accumulate in brown stone. You don't show her no respect. The party continues to reset a survey. We didn't did do a poll. Mr. Wallness. Listen to what you just said right here, sir. In your own words. The party did that survey, a poll. Okay, listen, you know. All right, listen to what you are going to say. No, let's get into it. We went out and we spoke directly. We write down what you said. And we took it back and we analyzed it. And it gave us very good information as to what we need to do as a political organization to improve our service and representation to you. Okay, Mr. Holness, let's get into it and show you your mission is so misleading and contradicting and misinformative. Listen to what you are going to say now after you said all of these things about your, your, your poll. We don't have to watch the poll to tell us what we need to do. And I want to tell you something that when you watch what happened with our friends above now, you realize that why the poor let them read it. They don't read the accurate at all. They can read it with the So, Mr. Wong, if they are so unreliable and you cannot rely on them, so why you spend so much on, on your survey, on your polls, to prove a point to the peoples before? Stop misleading the people and stop contradicting the people's morals, sir. Do the right thing as a leader and 
educate and uplift the morals of the people. Don't do this thing because of political gain, Mr. Wallace. You're supposed to know better than that, sir. Which is why you have to do deeper analysis. Okay, Mr. 28 Bank Account, listen to the explanation you're going to give for your deeper analysis and see if it really make any sense to what you have said before about your survey and your poll and the information that you gather to deal with the people's issue. Listen. So in effect, what he said, we don't watch the noise in the market. No. We watch the sale. And anybody looking at this conference know that a whole heap of sale are gone. Mr. Olness, honestly, just tell if the meaning that you give for deeper analysis right here on this stage if it really make any sense to you in any form politically or personally just tell me this sir god this is just a state of madness your, your parliament gets high marks it is the case however that representation is an issue they want them to be responsive. They want them, above all, to be caring. And they want them to be respectful. Serious business. And I want you to know, the stakeholders, if this was a company, you would be shareholders. You are the important people. So I want you to know that your chief executive officer, which is me. Okay, Mr. 28 Bank Account, listen to what I'm going to say to you now. Maker is not your company, you understand? And you are not the chief executive officer of Jamaica. You are the prime minister and you are a servant of the people. There is a total difference between a prime minister and a CEO, sir. So if you have that CEO mindset, you need to step aside to private life and leave parliament alone. Simple, sir, there is a conflict of interest in what you said and what you are doing. Has done the consumer survey, which is what you want. And we are going to take, well, we have started to take action internally. Some of the MPs and caretakers that we have seen are falling short. We are calling in. And we are starting to have conversations with them about improving their service. It is not only at the MP level, we also have to pay attention to the councillors as well. Because it is at the council level where the real connections have to be made and maintained. So I don't want to go into too much detail and talk about all the things we are doing, but it's important to communicate to you because I know that there are, you know, we have seen that there is a high level of frustration. High level of frustration, not just with constituents, but with workers and supporters. High level. And so the party has to address that in a systematic way. So we're going to see greater efforts and then we're going to see us making contact with you directly from Party Central through your MPs. Because, you know, after being in government for eight years, nine years going, you know, sometimes you have to say no. When you're in opposition, you don't have to say yes. Because not may come of it. But when you're in government, 
you have to abide by rules that you are going to hold us to account. But somebody wants us to break it. Reality. So sometimes, because you have to say no, you have something. But we cannot dismiss how you feel about the issues that affect us. And sometimes, representatives might want to say, so you are reasonable, you're not feeling your mind, you're not listening to what you're saying. And all that does is to allow the grievance to fester. For a populist opposition to come and say, I'm going to fix it, I will take care of it. Because that's all populism is taking advantage of grievance. So, it is important that on this platform I communicate to you, not just the good people here of Northwest Center, but to all Jamaica, that the Jamaica Labour Party understands and we care. And where we can do better, we will do better in your interest. A higher standard of service. The truth is, I started very young. At, at 25, I was elected, but I was working in the party long before. And I have seen the party transition and go through many phases and many changes. You know, there was a time when you would look at the Labour Party platform and it would look so orderly, so organized. You wouldn't have a conference so well structured. The party messaging would have been all over the place. Now you are looking at a very structured, a very organized party. Mr. Olness honestly you speak some truth right here, sir. But at the same time, you have been organized. You are not organized for the benefit of the people of this country. You are organized for the benefit of your organization, which you run not the JLP party. The party that you are running inside of the JLP party, sir. That is the organization you're speaking about. It may not necessarily be the case for all constituencies. But you will notice that since last year we have been insisting and pushing the MPs and the caretakers to have their constituency conferences because it is important that we use the conferences to communicate with you and tell you all the good things that your government is doing. The, the, the truth is, the truth is that good news don't sell. Good news don't sell. So we as labor rights, we, we, are, we have this impression sometimes that the papers must carry all the good things that we are doing. And all the journalists must be on our side and tell our side of the story. And we are puzzled, not understanding, that they have no obligation to do that. They are also driven by economic concerns and sometimes it's a bad news and the negative that sells. John Star, Mr. 28 Bank Account, it's twisted man. No one is saying that the JLP party ain't doing anything good for Jamaica. No one is saying that. We all acknowledge the goodness that this party have done for the country. But listen now what we are saying. The corruption that you and your crew is using the JLP party to carry out, sir. That is what we are speaking about. So don't twist it around and spin it around. Focus on that. We are speaking about that, sir. The way you and your crew use the JLP party 
for your nepotism, your cronism, and your corruption. Not everyone in the JLP party is corrupted, sir. And not everyone in the JLP party support what you promote. Understand the narrative, sir, and get it in your broad skull. So what that means for us, it means that we must gather our public. We must gather our people. We must train our own people to speak on their behalf and tell the good things that they are doing. I was so impressed when your member of parliament, Crystal Lee, with her broken ankle, decided that she would still take the platform because she had so many good things to tell you. And she listed out all the things that she's doing in her constituency. And as I observed the audience, I was seeing that there are some people who didn't know. There are some people who are hearing for the first time. And that is what we have to do. So all the labor rights who keep calling me and telling me about, you know, we need to get our news out. That, look here, man. We have been doing that. We probably won't go through the traditional means. We will go directly to you, the people. Because our show is already on the road. And we are starting first with getting our message to our workers. Because what our research has shown is that the workers, you know, I shouldn't talk this. Let me leave that one. I don't want to give too much of one, but it's the coach. The workers have no challenge with the government. They, they understand what the government is doing in managing the economy, in dealing with crime in dealing with infrastructure, in dealing with health, they understand. Where they have a challenge is on how the representatives address their direct issues. How they are treated when they go to the office. So, from your response, you know what I'm saying. And these are some of the little things that make people say, Chop it out of Because we make an assumption. Well, that too. But we make an assumption that everybody who votes is rational that people are going to vote for all the great things that the government is doing. You know, I'm doing some house to house recently and I met up on a, a lady and she said, Prime Minister, we don't have no problem with you, though. we don't have no quarrel with you, we love you. And she was listing off all the programs and everything. But she said, you know, me actually can help with my daughter, we have a university. And the promise can allow me to get it. Mr. 28 bank account, these are the little gimmicks and ideologies you like to the people, but listen to one of the that too now from I, Jamaica general budget for this year, physical year 2024 to 2025 is $1.3 trillion, sir. And there is $1.7 trillion unaccounted for between three ministries, sir. Yours, the Ministry of Health and the Ministry of Education, sir. So can you explain that for us? But for her, for her, all the good that we are doing nationally, cannot compensate for that little one thing that she wanted for herself and for her daughter. If 
that 1.7 trillion accounted for and using for the benefit of the people that woman own have that issue with you and her daughter going to university and cannot afford it sir so just stop use the people for mockery and take the people for fool sir you understand just check on why you just do right there and safe sense so my people this is all for now the views expressed here are for entertainment purposes only so you can you share your views in the comment section below and don't forget subscribe if you are new here bless up yourself see you in the next